Welcome Seasons. In this video we'll be taking a look at the Aegis Hammerhead. We'll be going over the stats of the ship, looking at its standard loadout and giving our thoughts on the ship's uses and possible upgrades. As with all things Star Citizen, keep in mind that specific details of the ship could and probably will change over time as the game's development progresses. The Hammerhead from Aegis Dynamics is a heavy anti-fighter platform that was developed under the UEE military contract called Project Monitor. It went through several iterations and almost 200 years of development to give us the powerful patrol craft we currently have in-game. This large weapons platform is slightly larger than the Drake Caterpillar and covered in powerful manned turrets that can fire on hostiles from almost any angle. You can enter the ship via the rear cargo lift or from either of the front elevators which take you straight into the side corridors. For EVA entry or exit, there is an airlock situated at the front of the ship. The Hammerhead's major rooms are located along the centre of the ship's hull, keeping them protected and localised, as well as giving ample space along the outer hull for the ship's many turrets. Uniquely, the Hammerhead's bridge is located on the underside of the ship, which allows the pilot to look through a viewport under their feet when descending or landing. Unfortunately, this restricts the pilot's view from above and means you need to negotiate another lift which is located towards the front of the ship to gain access to the bridge. For its interior, the Hammerhead borrows some materials and styles from the Reclaimer, keeping it within the Aegis military scheme that was inspired by popular films such as the Alien franchise. With a top speed of 105 meters per second and cruise speed of 915 meters per second, the Hammerhead is very slow despite being advertised as the opposite. In fact, it is currently the second slowest ship in the game. One area in which the ship is fast, however, is its quantum jump speed. The Hammerhead's standard size 3 Karma quantum drive accelerates the ship up to 99.3 gigameters per second. This is twice the quantum jump speed of any single seat ship, meaning it can jump into combat zones extremely quickly. The Hammerhead also comes equipped with two size 3 stronghold shield generators, which provide a massive 174,950 hit point shield. For those keeping count, this is twice the shield strength of a Starfarer or 600i. The ship's other major components consist of two powerful size 3 superdrive power generators, two size 3 mercury coolers, two size 3 fuel tanks, and two size 3 fuel intakes. The ship also comes with a decent cargo bay of 40 SCU which is ample room for supplies or munitions, it can even hold smaller vehicles like a Dragonfly or Cyclone. The Hammerhead is a unique ship within Star Citizen, where weapons are concerned. The pilot has no forward guns to control and only has access to a complement of missile racks with which to bombard his targets with. These racks house a devastating 16 size 3 Arrestor 3 missiles and 16 size 3 Viper 3 missiles. Combined, these can do a total of 52,000 damage. The ship's main guns are spread around the ship thanks to its six-man turrets. Each of these turrets is fitted with four size 4 Rhino laser repeaters. These give the ship a decent max weapon range of 2,424 meters, which fits its role as an anti-fighter platform. But they take a heavy toll on the coolers. Each shot from a Rhino repeater builds five heat, and if several turrets are all firing at once, it can quickly overheat the systems. This is one of the Hammerhead's major issues. Switching out the Mercury coolers for a pair of thermal core units give the guns a little more breathing room before they overheat, but not by much. There is another way to help the cooling efficiency that will also help one of the Hammerhead's other problems, range. The Rhino repeaters that are fitted into the Hammerhead's turrets have a fairly low effective range, by changing the guns that are fitted to the rear turret and dorsal turret to a full set of C788 ballistic cannons, the ship will get a slight DPS increase, boost its attack range to 4,200 meters, and free up some more space on the coolers. This range increase is especially useful to deal with heavy fighters like the Vanguard that can outdistance the Hammerhead standard Rhino repeater turret setup. The ship's turret positions mean that in theory, there should always be two or three turrets able to fire on a target. The only exceptions to this rule are the areas directly above the dorsal turret or directly below the rear turret. Due to the turret mechanics currently in game, 
all turrets have a blind spot in the locations just mentioned, which a skilled opponent can potentially exploit. That being said, the margin for a fighter to stay within the blind spot is extremely small and a decent hammerhead pilot should be able to manoeuvre the ship enough during combat to make it impossible for an attacker to stay within the blind spot for too long. The hammerhead is an area denial platform that can quantum jump to a position very fast and protect other ships from smaller fighters very effectively. Unfortunately, its slow SCM speed means that it can't really chase those smaller fighters down, only destroy ones that come into range or scare them away. It can be very effective at patrol missions against NPCs too, although it is fairly inefficient for those tasks due to the low mission rewards. You'll need a full crew to man all the turrets to make the hammerhead perform at its optimal level, and dividing the mission rewards between everyone involved means the payout isn't worth everyone's time. Once the higher quality missions are added into the game, it should become a better proposition. With a price tag of $720, the hammerhead isn't a ship that should be used solo in any way, but it can be a powerful tool when used within a fleet. Well, we hope this review has been helpful or informative. If you like the vid, destroy that like button and subscribe for more Star Citizen videos. Also, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments for any reviews you would like to see. Bye for now.